The one, Kwam Yashala, call halal Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Double Shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity, regardless of who here forbears. The videos we do are only for the hopeful elect, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and that includes the confusion of faces. No man know of the day and hour, all right? So it's important for us to measure the times, continue to measure the times diligently as the scriptures speak. So um, let me bring that out. Without further ado, I want to jump into the lesson. And Lord willing, be edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. It reads 2nd Edges chapter 8, verse 62. It says, These things have I not showed unto all men. And what are those things? The visions of things to come. All right? It says, But unto thee, and a few like thee. So the Lord only gave visions to, you know, particular men, you know. Um, John the Revelator, Daniel, you know, um, Obadiah, you know, Ezekiel. You know, certain prophets the Lord revealed, you know, visions and secrets to, all right? As just being one of them, okay? It says, then answer I and said, okay, this is the Lord speaking um, uh, to Ezra through an angel, okay? Let him know that he's only shown this vision or only showed certain signs to, to particular men, you know, and Ezra's being one of them. Verse 63, and this is Ezra's response. It says, Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders which thou wilt begin to do in the last times, because those visions were given to Ezra of the last times, the, the last, the, the end times, okay, of what to look for discerning the things that will be coming to let you know that the Lord is sending the only begotten son to redeem the elect of the nation of Israel and establish the kingdom. Okay. It says, wilt thou, so like, let me start from the top. Second Edges chapter eight, verse 63. Behold, O Lord, now hast thou showed me the multitude of the wonders, which thou wilt begin to do in the last times, but at what time thou has not showed me. So the Lord showed Ezra's many signs and visions, but Ezra, you know, spoke of not being able to know the exact time and hour, okay? And it's all set up that way for a reason, all right? Because no man knoweth the day and hour except for the Heavenly Father. And I'm going to prove that through the scriptures. Uh, let me see. St. Matthew, the 24th chapter. Let's see, verse 36, it reads, and this is written in red, coming from Lord Yahweh It says, but of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. So that proves that the heavenly father only knows the day and hour that he wants to <clears throat> send his only begotten son, Lord Yahweh to redeem the elect and establish the kingdom. Okay? And destroy this place called America and um, certain parts of the four corners of the earth. Okay, and to give the children of Israel back the land of Israel. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go back to Second Ezra, the ninth chapter. It says, He answered me then, and this is after Ezra, you know, observed the fact and mentioned the fact that he didn't know the day and time. You know, the Lord showed him visions, but he didn't know the hour or the day and time that the Lord is gonna um bring about, you know, um the final judgment. Okay. So, 2nd Edges chapter 9, verse 1, he answered me then and said, Measure thou the times diligently in itself. And so that's this is this is what we can take heed to is measuring the times diligently. You know, um, seeing the times that we're in, you know, um, linking up the news uh, articles and updates and applying them and linking them to the scriptures, you know. Like you're seeing earthquakes in diverse places, and there's always been earthquakes, but we're we're uh, seeing earthquakes at an all-time high, man. You know, you know, uh, 500 something earthquakes per week. You know, we're also in evil times. You know, we're, we're living in times where, you know, men's hearts uh, are waxing colder and colder. You know, you, you don't know what your neighbor is plotting on you to do, man. You know, we're living in times of famine. And you're seeing famines in certain parts of, of the world, Venezuela, Brazil, you know, certain parts of Haiti. All right. Why? Because we're living in these times. 
And it goes back to the visions that um, Lord Yahweh spoke of in the 24th chapter of Matthew. <clears throat> We're also living in a um, time of pestilences. You know, you got the Black Death disease back out, Ebola, you know, um, in certain parts of the world. Okay, STDs at an all-time high. Okay. It reads on. It says, measure thou the times diligently in itself. And when you go into the word diligently, you know, it, it, it goes into um, carefully. You know, you got to be careful about measuring these times, you know, because you want to make sure that, you know, um, you're prepared for the uh, end times, you know, preparing for the things that are to come, you know, um, famine, martial law, race riots, the RFID chip is going gonna, is gonna to be made mandatory. Okay, and so those times you want to be discerned and be prepared. All right, it says, and when thou seest part of the science past, which I have told thee before, verse two, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So when you see these signs come to pass, you're getting close to the end. So like is my alarm going off. But uh, it reads, Thou, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time where the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. So we don't know the day and hour, okay, only the Heavenly Father, but the Heavenly Father gave us clues to know how close we are to the end and how close we are to um, the highest uh, beginning to visit the world in which he made, all right? So we're seeing death and destruction across the four corners of earth. We're seeing people die by the, the numbers, man. Um, the more we've seen the most uh, plane crashes these past year and a half, two years than we've ever witnessed, man. Um, you know, evil times, you know, uh, just different types of um, <clears throat> you hearing cases of people getting their throats slit. You know, um, Jake's still getting hung from trees in certain parts of the South, you know, because we're living in times, man. And, and what Donald Trump in office is, is also revealing to you, who to you Jake's out there who continue to deny who the devil is, which is a so-called white man. Hey, the Lord is revealing that um, through Donald Trump's um, presidency, man. Okay? And these devils are, 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 you know, rolling up on Jake, man. As soon as it's getting ready to be, um, you know, worse than it is now. Okay? We're in evil times, man. The Lord is, the Lord is revealing these things um, to, to us, man. And it's important for us to take heed for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Okay? It says, wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Verse 3, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, and again, you know, earthquakes in, in diverse places. You're seeing earthquakes by the, by the um, highest numbers, man. Let me see. Uh, I'm looking up the earthquakes. Earthquakes today. Total earthquakes in the last 24 hours. Number of earthquakes in the last 24 hours. Let's see. All right, let's see. So this comes from the, let's see, it comes from earthquaketrack.com. It says, and this is only reporting um, M 1.5 or greater. So it's been 135 earthquakes in the last 24 hours, 938 earthquakes in the last seven days, and 4,658 earthquakes in the, in the past 30 days. Okay, so you're linking that up with the, the, the scriptures. We've never lived in times where there's this many earthquakes, man, in the last 24 hours or last seven days, 30 days. It's never been it's never been heard of, man. Okay, it says an uproars of the people in the world, and it's been major uproars of the people of the world, man. Not just here in America, you know, because you here in America you got um, the ones who were against Donald Trump versus the ones who were in support of Donald Trump. You got race uh, different race uh, riots going on, from monuments being pulled down. You know, um, Esau, the so-called white man, is angry at the fact that you know they're their uh, forefathers, their monuments that they put up are being taken down from being up year, you know, for years now. So, you know, you're seeing uproars of that. You're seeing uproars of um, these different uh, nations in other parts of the world 
uprising against the governments, you know, uh, uprising against, um, you know, you see in Haiti when the gas prices, you know, went up, you know, how, you know, the, the so-called Haitians out there, you know, went, went um, uproaring, man. They weren't pleased with that, you know. So they, you know, they started doing all types of riots out there. Okay. So we're in the times of, you know, um, the, in the end times, you know. The vision that the Lord was giving us just letting them know that when you see these things happen, and you let you, that lets you know that I'm I'm getting ready to send my only begotten Son, um, to visit the world, man, and to bring death and destruction. You know, Lord Yahweh Shai is coming with laser beams, man. All right, to shoot um laser beams on this place called America and redeem the elect, man. All right, and establish the kingdom. So uh, I'm gonna read on. Verse four. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spoke of those things. From the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So, you know, these words are faithful and true when these prophecies are coming to pass. You know, the vision was set for a point in time, and uh, and they and, and in the end they shall speak. And I'm roughly paraphrasing. But uh Habakkuk two and three. We're seeing the visions um be made manifest. Matter of fact, let me get Habakkuk two and three um before I close out. You see the book of Habakkuk, chapter Two, verse three. <clears throat> there we go. Book of Habakkuk, chapter two, verse three. It says, "For the vision is yet for an appointed time. All the visions that you know the Lord gave the prophets and the servants in ancient times, it was all set for an appointed time." You know. When Lord Yahweh was speaking to the disciples over 2,000 years ago, letting them know of the signs to look for in the end, you know, they didn't know exactly when it was coming, but, you know, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who our people ignorantly call God, already had it set for an appointed time, okay? You know, and the prophets were being diligent and always looking for, for, for that time, okay? But it wasn't a time then. Now we're living in a time where the vision is, is set for, obviously, right? It says, but at the end it shall speak. And, and we're seeing the prophecy speak right before our eyes. Why? Because we're in the end. It says, and not lie. Yeah, because the words of the Bible is faithful and true. The words of the Heavenly Father is faithful and true. All right? All these prophecies that were spoken of are being made known, okay, in the times that we're in now. It says, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. So, yeah, it may seem like it's taking a while, but it's, it's coming. The Lord is speeding up time for the elect's sake, all right? And you see these days going by quicker, faster, you know? We already, um, in, in September, you know, it felt like the so-called New Year just started, man, all right? So, you know, it may seem like it's tarrying, but truth be told, it's moving pretty fast, you know? And we continue to pray for the Lord to continue to speed up time for the elect's sake, Lord willing, with some of those men, all right? So no man knoweth the day and hour. So it's important for us to continue to measure the time diligently, all right? Because the script, the the prophecies are speaking loud and clear, and um, it's important for us to take heed to the message, you know. Get right with the heavenly Father, seek the heavenly Father before it's too late, all right? So no man knows the day and hour, and you don't want Lord Yahweh Shai to come as a thief in the night and catch you off guard. So with that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash, and double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us the 100% truth according to the Bible. And a double shalom to all the Akim out there pushing the truth and truth in sincerity. Shalom.